Hey, many fish. It's the 17th of March, 2018. Shabbat Shalom. And I'm sure most of you have seen this, uh, but I have to just share this with you because I have to. And I first saw this on my local news, which is CBS 13, the all-seeing eye 13 out of Portland, Maine. And a letter from Jesus Christ to Oprah sent from Maine. I'm sure you've seen this because I saw this last night and this morning. This article is everywhere. Everywhere. CBS News. The Hill. San Francisco Papers. The Boston Globe. News. Oh, look. 1130. Yahoo News. Time Magazine, The Mail Online, People Magazine, accepting her Rockefeller MoMA Award. Where else we got? The Sun Journal, U.S. News, another Boston Globe. Oh, here's Fox. I was wondering where Fox was. Everywhere, folks. Everywhere. And... There are several things I want to share with you about this. This is a woman, a female, who has legally changed her name to Jesus Christ. And she did that 50 years ago in 1967, when she was 33 years old. This woman, I'm convinced in my spirit, is a manifestation of the Antichrist spirit, the Baphomet spirit. This is a female, a female, making herself off as Jesus Christ. And this person exists. Jesus Adele Christ. She exists, people. And Adele, Adele is interesting in and of itself. That means noble. And in the Hebrew, it actually means God is eternal. And this woman is calling herself Jesus Christ. Let me find the one article that I want to show you that really illustrates all this stuff. There's a short little video here that I want to play for you, just so you can hear from her own words. She's got her shiny... You know, unwrinkled Bibles tucked away on the bookshelf there. I'm just saying. I'm not judging this woman. I'm just telling you. So, I just want you to hear in her own words what she's got to say in this little interview. May God bless you to understand his word, eternal love and friendship. Signed. Jesus A. Christ. 83-year-old Jesus Christ is used to getting a lot of questions about her name. Most of them think I'm just playing crazy and ignore me. <laughs> But not Gail King. King noticed a letter Christ sent from North Waterboro, Maine to her best friend Oprah. King posted about the letter on social media, asking Oprah if it was the sign she's been looking for. And wouldn't I know? Because if, if God actually wanted me to run, wouldn't God kind of tell me? And I haven't heard that. That was before this. How did you know I wrote to Oprah? Gail King, who's on CBS This Morning and ed the editor of Oprah's Magazine, posted this and says, Hey, Oprah, is this the sign you're looking for? And held up the letter. And it has nearly 3,000 people have liked it on Instagram. Thank you, Father. He gets done what he wants. Christ didn't know Oprah was waiting for a sign. This is the letter that you sent? Yeah. Would you like a copy? or that there was even speculation Oprah might run for president. Do you think Oprah should run for president? If she does, I'll vote for her, that's for sure. <laughs> that's not why she wrote the letter after legally changing her name nearly 50 years ago. My social security card, all my medical cards, everything I have for ID reads that way. She says she started writing letters to try to spread a message of faith, peace, and priorities. God in the Bible. I try to live every moment of my life under God's will. I've sent out probably 20 so far. And why did you send one to Oprah? Because I like Oprah. 
she sent out 20 so far okay now I grabbed a little screenshot of the letter it is finished and you can make out a little bit in some of these oh that's not it huh this is about as good as you're gonna get and I can't find a copy of this letter and it's very hard to really tell what she's saying in here because it's kind of jibber jabbery but you can find this I took this as a uh, a clip out of that actual video that's where I got this I can't find it anywhere else but think about this for a minute what the heck is this all about and of course she's got to be from Maine right she's a real person this is a real person Jesus Adele Christ she lives in North Waterboro and I know where she lives and the crazy part is this woman this this creature lives 13 miles from me a 23 minute ride <laughs> and of course this isn't my actual house but what I did I plotted it to my house and then just stretched it out to the same distance so I could illustrate that my actual house a lot of you people don't really know this I don't think but my actual house is basically in this this frame here and I moved here in 2011 before I knew Christ and this is the main road right off of my street route 153 I thought that was pretty cool <laughs> I thought a matter of fact I thought that was absolutely amazing that's that's just crazy and this image here I wanted to show you because this woman is a product of the summer of love which was you know there was quite a Jesus movement back then and it was obviously co-opted by the devil himself when he came in with the drugs and the propaganda and the new age movement and you know the rest is history but when I saw this image of this guy at this festival this is this image this was posted on Drudge on May 13th last year May 13th and I saw this image and I had been studying the Vatican and all that craziness that goes on there and look at this image right here you know what that is that is none other than the Sistine Chapel with Lucifer coming through the arch with the Virgin all the people looking towards him look at that come on you guys that's that's absolutely crazy but there it is and the thing is is I don't exactly know what to make of all this I know that this woman is representing the Baphomet type that there's there's no way around that that is just outright blasphemy to go and legally change your name to Jesus Christ and you're a woman a woman the female rival this is insanity but I do know it means something is there's no way around that and uh, it's yet to be seen if Oprah will actually take this as her sign from God which if she does I mean what do you make of that I hope she don't I mean you would think she would say uh, yeah that's really nice but I think that this woman might be a little bit you know she might have taken too much acid back in the summer of love but I'm not judging her heart this is just insane and you can't deny it and I'd love to do a more comprehensive little piece on this but I'll let you guys just have that for a bit. I'm looking forward to what some of you may make of this. This is crazy. But there you go. Shabbat Shalom to you all. Peace and grace and the love of Jesus Christ be with you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, 
against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 